What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys another live com. And I thought this game was about to start, but apparently not. But um, basically, today, guys, it's gonna be the second episode in the little challenge series that I've been making. And um, what I'm gonna do today is play on a one sensitivity for the entire game, and we're gonna see what happens. Uh, hopefully, everything turns out all right. This is my second attempt. Um, first attempt I learned that really the hardest part of playing on a one sensitivity is the fact that people can get behind you and then you can't turn on them because in clan versus clan you know I'm not playing with anybody I know nobody's setting up properly and I'm not hearing any call outs because I'm in a chat by myself because I, I can't talk to an audience while also trying to do that it's just I don't know it just doesn't work for me so we're just gonna see what happens um, hopefully everything turns out alright. Just so you guys can see, yes, one sensitivity right there. So, yeah. And I'll try and talk and let you guys know what my plan is. So basically, this first round, I'm just going to go bottom mechanic and look over at the Humvees. I'm um, not sure if it's actually the smartest thing, but why not? Oh my god, I can't even turn. Alright, he called him out alley, so I know he's there. i got to be careful. Alright, that was probably him that just died. So at this point, I'm just going to try and get behind them. There's only one left, and apparently he's in their spawn. And alright, so I didn't have to do anything. Steven X305 over here got all the kills for me, so that's great. Um, I have to kind of play slower than I normally would on a one sensitivity because I just I can't let people get behind me or in close quarters really. I probably shouldn't have even pushed into strip. That was probably a bad choice. But it's whatever. So I don't know what my teammates are doing. Uh, let's see. Nobody's grabbing bombs, so that's fine. We'll just win the round without bomb, I guess. There you go. Good teammate. Alright, got the kid bottom restaurant, so that's good. And he's in our motel, okay. See, what happened there was I was completely oblivious to it because I am used to one of my teammates clearing that out so that's that was completely my fault I should have realized hey this these these people aren't gonna be checking there but it's whatever I got a kill Steven over here is still 5-0 and oh, so good for him hopefully I can pick it up in the next few rounds here and get some decent amount of kills thinking about putting the thermal away yeah I'm gonna do it let's just take this out and why not let's just go top broken oh wait we got a sniper over there that's a little troubling so we know one's bottom strip I know there's one by this 18 wheeler as well. I'm not sure where he went exactly. Okay, teammate knows though, that's all good. Ooh, the quick scope, alright. Good work, teammate. I don't know what junior PK7 I don't know if that means something but okay let's see what am I gonna do this time um, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing I did only slightly different so really it's not the same thing okay nobody pushed it off the start
Okay, got the kid top diner, and then I know there's one below me as well. I was scared I wasn't going to get that kill there. Alright, so this kid... I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to push me, or if he's going to wait, or what. Coming out of the pawn shop. I need to get out of here. This is a bad spot for me. It's all up to you now. The squad's counting on you. Oh wow. I was definitely not in a good situation there. Um I probably should have played more patient. I should have just waited. It's just I heard footsteps. So I was like, okay. Let me just run up and get him real quick, but nah, that didn't work. Switching sides. Um, let's see. What am I going to do here? Let's take out a sub. And let's push B. I don't know if this is very smart on a 1 sensitivity, but whatever. We're going to do it anyway. And this kid is just doing exactly what I'm doing. And just slowed me down so much. Okay, picked up one. Still looking for the others. They might have crossed A, because like we've got good B control. Or not. He could just be top strip, camping out. Good first pick by Brink. Shots went a little unstable there on the second kill, but I mean he managed to get him out of top strip without taken I don't think any damage so good job Brink um I'm actually gonna keep the sub out and I'm gonna go straight over to A hopefully my teammates will pick up on it and follow or maybe just one will okay let's chill I if I was on a lower or a higher sensitivity I might have challenged that I don't know why that kid pushed me. I wasn't very smart of him. Picked him up mid map. So now I'm just kind of waiting and looking for this last guy. Oh, and of course he comes up behind me. No, the moment, man. Wow, as soon as I turn around, he hops up top. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's alright. Call of Duty time, and what are you going to do? Um, I kind of figured he would have rotated back by then already. I didn't think he would still be out in the middle of the map coming to me, but... It's whatever. Um, I don't know why I'm keeping my sub out. I don't know, I'm just doing better with it right now, so I'm just going to use it. And the fact that I just got that kill is absurd. I should not have gotten that kill. And that guy is laying down. And I don't know what I just did. Okay, I thought I saw somebody and him. But it was actually a bush in front and then, and then him. So that was a stupid challenge on my part. I got cocky after the first kill. But it's all good. I kind of want to see this guy go ham with the sniper. Who else is alive? It's just him? Okay. The 1v1. I guess I could break down what he's doing. So let's see. So I think he's playing it alright for now. You know, he's playing fairly passive with the sniper, which is how you're supposed to. Um, right now he's got good mid-map control. Unfortunately, that was a little late. He had already crossed. There's no need for him to check over towards B there because it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, he probably shouldn't have challenged that. The second one, yeah, he needed to challenge, but the first shot, no. Um, he's in a little bit of a pickle here because, you know, he's got his sniper. I don't know if he has a secondary or not. He's running out of time. I don't think he's going to be able to get this round because the guy got away from him initially. 
So that's all right. Um, so yeah, you know, the first shot was an understandable miss. Second shot, he really needed to hit that. Apparently, he didn't check his corners well enough. No, he just... Bad timing for him. Okay. I was thinking he was back there by the barn the whole time, and he just didn't check it properly. But, it's all good. Another bad timing for him, and, you know, he missed his second shot. First shot, I completely understand that he missed, so it's all good. Um... I'm gonna be heading towards B this time. I'm gonna clear out top motel for my team, I think. Maybe. No, I don't even wanna do that. I just wanna go bottom. Okay, and nobody is watching my underpass, so. That's a little scary. And of course, I see the kid underpass, and then this kid challenges me from top motel. Okay. Good snipe. And he's last alive again in a 1v1. So he needs to redeem himself here and get this kill. Um, he's got mid-map control, so that's fine. But because he's on offense, he does need to make his way to the bomb. I like the rotation going through the spawn. Going to top pond to check first. Um, apparently he has no ears, though, because he didn't hear the guy just running. So he's going to die. I, I mean, if he wins this, it's a miracle. Wow. It took him to slide for him to be able to hear him. He actually won it. Wow, that is... Unbelievable luck. I wish I had that kind of luck. I mean, he was just stomping around over there, and then this guy, I don't know, maybe he has his headset off or he's listening to music or something. Because, I mean, he doesn't seem like that bad of a player. I just I just don't think he has any sound going for him right now. So we're going to pull out the AR again, play a little bit passive. I'm going to go to the tank and just kind of look over, see what's going on over at Strip and Humvees. Okay, we got a sniper, so. And a perfect little nade there. Helped us out quite a bit. Okay, that was pretty shaky aim from me. That was completely my fault. And a guy just got knifed, I think, top pawn. Yep, well, top pawn's weak now. Um, I doubt he's going to rotate A. I feel like they pretty much have to go B at this point, unless he's the one with the bomb. And there's a guy sliding, like, right next to me. And it's freaking me out. I don't know if it's my teammate or what. I feel like he might be up top. Oh, this is a terrible situation. And there we go, we got it. Alright, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.